Let's go ahead and see if we can build something SpongeBob related with these colors. I mean, that's not too bad, right? No, that's not bad. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, this show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And the CEO of our company, she is black all seven days of the week, not just on Friday, baby. She's beige, not black. Parker, that's offensive. She's just light skinned, like me. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon Black Friday, camera flip. Oh, Today's gonna be an extremely exciting day because we are gonna be getting an extreme discount on stuff. We are, it's one of my favorite days of the year. Aren't you excited to get a TV of the lower tier for a discounted price? It's Black Friday. I mean, look, I like the deals, but I don't wanna get trampled. Parker, you're not gonna get trampled. That's never happened to anyone, especially not in Southern California. <laughs> We live in California, so like basically our Walmart is your Black Friday every day. So basically our Black Friday is if the entire country of India decided to move to your town. That is kind of what we deal with on Black Friday. Everybody comes out their house and wants to get those deals before Christmas time. But they are not going to be looking for the stuff that we're looking for, I think. We're going to be looking for cartoon related stuff, Spongebob stuff, anything we can add to the collection. But we're not just doing a one store today, we're going to be going to Target and Walmart so that way we can take advantage of both the stores and we might even stop by a game stop anyway guys without further ado let's go ahead and head into the car we don't want to waste any more time we're already there a little bit late but i think things hopefully have died down from the trampling stages let's go so we're on our way there right now basically like the next day basically black friday in america starts on thursday night so i think we're going to be a little lucky that the trampling and all that stuff's calmed down i did not want to go and take us there like in the middle of the night or anything like that when it's going to be too stressful people fighting over tvs ps3s like ps3s what year are you in it's a black friday bro you think they're getting you a normal ps5 it's a ps3 in a PS5 case. There's some problem with it, all right? But it's hopefully died down quite a bit. But like I said, the stuff that we're hunting for, like, you know, hopefully there's just discounts, 50% off. We could just end up getting there and everything is a normal price. We always pay for everything. <laughs> that is very much a possibility. But you know what? That would just be wrong because, you know, this is Black Friday, dude. You know, being half black, we get basically a whole month and then this is our one bonus day. <laughs> you can't be messing up our bonus day, my bonus day. You know, I'm half black. This is my, my one time to get 50% off of things, so right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's all I'm asking. Is that too much? You tell me what's, what's good. Now I'll just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll check in with you guys as soon as we get to the door. Okay, guys. So we're pulling up to the Walmart right now. As you can see, it's, it's pretty crowded, but not too, too bad. We'll check it out once we get inside our first store. Let's do it. Okay, so we got some of this stuff. This is usually what you see is like certain things that are on sale, man. I would have flipped out as a well, literally I would have flipped out. We have the deluxe pro pack for ten dollars with all these That's different not boards. Bad. Yeah, for 15 bucks to get 10 boards, that is not bad at all. But there's nothing cartoon related here, so we're not gonna pick anything up, but we're gonna make our way to the toy section where I think they'll have more options. Okay, so we found our first little deal here. They have a Sonic watch with Sonic and Knuckles on it, and they also have this one right here, Sonic and Tails, and they have a Mario one too, and it looks like, I'm gonna guess this is Yoshi maybe? It's a Mario Brothers. See, why is it always your younger brother stands out as his own solo character, the older brother just gets thrown in the back as soon as the new kid comes in. They also have Paw Patrol as well. We're gonna grab a Sonic one and also a Mario. Oh, that's actually kind of a cool one. You got the Creeper, the Enderman, the Skeleton, and the Zombie on that it one. It does say to try them, so let's try them. It actually has like these colored LEDs in it. That's kind of oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, so we'll pick these up. We got a Sonic one and a Mario one to add to the collection for $10. Awesome. Either we're working our way towards the toy section, as you guys can tell. We went from like the watch section, now we're like the gift section. No, but we don't have anything here that's new from the stuff that we've already been picking up already. I think we have the one that said, we have this one that says bro. Oh, dude, check this out. I'm getting this for our freaking Y2K shelf, dude. A freaking Bratz cup in, in 2022? That's sick. You guys already know I'm starting a Y2K shelf for you guys and it's been so much fun just trying to find random different stuff i don't know what we're gonna do when we complete the collection but we'll definitely get this piece for now oh shout out to duck gang if you guys are on whatnot you guys know many of the people are a part of duck gang so we got some ducks over here dude, 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 shiny dude, side duck what that is a shiny side duck but yes over here we have the pop charms we do not have these for sure it has an actual like necklace piece it says best and then on this side it says friend and then you can pop these things with your best friend definitely cool spongebob and patrick official let's go ahead and add that to the car I didn't even expect to see that over here, so I'm glad that we checked this section. So you guys know what I'm saying. I don't have a problem with Paw Patrol, but this is my example. This is why I complain about it, because this is all we see. Look at this. 
Paw Patrol bath kit. Paw Patrol bath kit with drums. We'll keep moving. Paw Patrol gingerbread house. It's just couldn't. SpongeBob, I've gotten a beautiful pineapple gingerbread house. It wouldn't have been too hard, right? Okay, there's all these ornaments. Surely there's one SpongeBob or Nickelodeon one we could add. Maybe it was here, but we just missed it. But I don't see, do you see anything? There's some cool stuff here. We've got like May Lee, which is really cool. We got Sonic. We already got him in the three pack, if you guys remember that. We got Golden Steve, just nothing nick. Unless it's sold out already. You know what? This this is evidence as well. But you know what? I'm actually gonna pick this up. <laughs> tin box company? Harry. Yes! Oh. Tin box company! Okay, Nickelodeon, you stayed strong, you stayed loyal to the tin box company. So I'm definitely picking this up. This is a tin box company product. I love it. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we can see one like non Paw Patrol related Nick item here. Nor do we even find like a Scooby Doo ornament, nothing cartoon related, cartoon network themed. It's very unfortunate. Maybe we just got here a little too late. That's always a possibility. It's back. My whole life I've wanted one of these. I never had one. I actually remember there was a SpongeBob one too, but I never got that one. But check it out. On for $15. I mean, that's probably like less than when it came out originally. But turn around, turn around. They have the Blues Clues Complete Cook Up Clues Play Kitchen for $25. I mean, this is exactly what you've been waiting for. I know. This was, I think it was originally like $50. It comes with a notebook and then all these different pieces. I just don't know what we'll do with all this. But even if we can just get this little drawer and add that to the room, that might even be worth it. I think we try this out for 25 bucks. Okay, so we're trying to decide now because we found this one for 25 bucks and we also found this one for 25 bucks. And realistically, I'm not going to use any of these as they're like full setup. So I'm just going to use the pieces that come from them. This one comes with salt and pepper. It comes with the clock. A little blue like ornament up here and this handy dandy notebook. Hey, if you're about the cheese, the tomatoes. Yeah, those are our character. Mr. There's no the the pizza. <laughs> Even though there's salt and pepper, there's no cheese, okay? <laughs> but this thing comes with more panels, I feel like. You know what I mean? Like you could use these panels for anything. So I don't know. Like, what do you think? I'm thinking that like guy, actually. Like, that looks better. I feel like that's more interactive and more displayable if you wanted to do that. But like you said, you get a lot of individual pieces. Yep, I think we're gonna go ahead and get this one as well. So we're swapping them out. Just wanted to give you guys an update on the swap. Okay, so we got over here the doorbells. You guys know I'm still trying to collect these. We already got this one last time. Of course, we didn't get the big figure of Buzz, but we will grab one of these ones right here, the mystery box. Well, we're still on the hunt for so many from this series. And check it out. We'll try and get at least one. Maybe we'll get lucky on it. Did you find the uh, Patrick Star show? No, no, I haven't, Parker. Hopefully one day we will, but no. Looks like something's finally on sale. We actually got the Land Before Times complete TV series, which I actually don't know if I've seen. I've seen a lot of the movies, but I don't know if I've seen the TV series. How about yourself? I think I saw the movie. I guess there was a TV series, the whole different character. I mean, we got, I think his name is Chomp, but either way, only $10. $10 for a complete series, we're getting it. Okay, so typically when we do these buyout things, we look for literally every small thing we can find in the store. Even if it's like a little wristband, we'll still pick it up. But since we're going to three stores today, we're only looking for the major things, like really stand out products. This is what we got so far. We're gonna head over to Target now. Okay, we made it inside of Target. We went straight to the toy section. That's usually where we find the best stuff. Let's take a look, see what we got. Nothing over here in the book section, but I'm sure we'll find something on the way. All right, guys, so we came over here to the plushie section. We always get pretty lucky, but this place always comes key when it comes to Garfield. So we got an extra large, apparently, Kung Fu Garfield. We're not going to pick up probably too much of Target because I haven't seen so much stuff here for, car for cartoons yet, but I'm definitely going to pick up Mr. Garfield here. Yeah, he really does always land on his feet. <laughs> okay, so I found the Egg Robo. I'm not gonna get him today. Maybe if we didn't have so many other things that we found, I would have maybe got him. That's what I'm saying. Like today's a day where we're going to come for key stuff. Because on an average just target trip, I probably would have got this guy. But dude, this guy right here is like, I'm happy to see Pikachu. But check this out. Oh, they did a Gengar translucent one and also a Ditto one. Yeah, that's way sick. People are already selling the Gengar one for like 40 bucks. The Ditto I've never even seen, but if we see that in store, you know. I, I'm pretty sure you're copping that too. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely, that's a must. <laughs> Keep on looking around, we got the Funko section to check out. Let's check that out in a little bit here. Okay guys, we got the Funko section. I already see there's nothing in here for us really, but there's a lot of cool stuff that's in here. Coach Beard. Imagine identifying with just face to hair on your face. <laughs> very, very cool though, but nothing we need. 
All right, so Parker was looking around the clothing section. We actually came over here looking for like anime themed shirts, but we actually came up on this guy right here. I don't love this color. I'm not gonna lie, this beige, but that backing makes it worth it. I know. <laughs> I mean, I wish this was like kind of like this, like yeah, that color. It's a little bit, it's a little too, rich. Yeah, it's a little too rich. It's too creamy. It almost gives me like orange sickle vibes. It almost has a little orange tint to it. But I think I'm gonna still pick this up though. It's good. It's I like it. Yeah, it's only twenty five dollars. I think this is still worth it just for the back. I mean, honestly, I would have been okay with this being black too, and that that is sick. I love the back piece right here. This we're picking this one up. Twenty five bucks, not a bad deal at all. Okay, so Target, we can actually check off the list. We got as much stuff as we could find. Like I said, we got the guard. Filled and we ended up getting the jacket, which are pretty keys for you know stuff that we were able to find today. Like I said, there was a lot of small stuff that we could have technically added under the label of Nickelodeon, but since we're going to three different stores, I wanted to get the key stuff. So let's go ahead now in our last store, which is gonna be GameStop. Let's go check out, see what they got there. I mean, we might not find much there, but these two stores definitely came up for us. So let's go see. Okay, so I found something really cool. This is you're my friend. I'm gonna let you have it first. But if you don't want it, just know I will absolutely not a question by it. I'm a little scared now. Oh. Ang Cosmic Energy. There's only one on the oh, shelf. Bro. Feel wrong taking it because you're our avatar expert. Here. I literally told. Did you remember yeah. when we were at Walmart? I was like, they <laughs> have this, and I was looking for it. It's twenty bucks. I feel bad that you found it first. No, no. I mean, I want it, but if you want it, I mean, I feel wrong. You're avatar expert. You got to take it. Yeah, that is amazing. Yes, <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. So for our avatar expert, you'll let us check it out. We get some shots of it, of course. That is definitely the coolest of the best action figures ever released all right we'll get some shots in here guys not too much in here for us but they do have all of these pops which they're 50 percent off the already price so they're basically five dollar pops all of these i don't really see in here anything that we need though i mean maybe the britney for five oh wait no do that buzz down here for five bucks we'll get buzz come on we can't leave buzz here for five dollars even if we just give them away on whatnot i'll get them for five dollars no, but I don't see anything else in here. Do you see anything cartoon themed down there? No, uh, nothing. We will get the buzz though for $5, why not? Okay guys, so we found some amazing stuff at Walmart and Target. I looked around in GameStop. We didn't find very much stuff in there, but I did just get one Funko Pop, the Buzz Lightyear one. Nothing crazy, it was on clearance for half off. I couldn't leave a buzz behind. I'll just be giving that guy away on whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed all this outdoor hunting. So we went to three stores. I wish we would've found more at GameStop, but we didn't. Anyways, head back to the cavern and check out all the awesome stuff we got. And we gotta build a Blue's Clues kitchen. <laughs> okay guys, so it is actually Cyber Monday and I had a great weekend and I was really, really excited to get into all this stuff but I had to wait because of course we're doing it all together and also I need uh, your help Parker reading the instructions on this. It's made for like a five-year-old. This kid looks pretty educated. Look at him whipping in the kitchen like a stir fry. You're wrong. It's made for a three-year-old. It's actually two years of reading experience I don't have under my belt. So we're gonna need your help reading these instructions but not just that we have all of this stuff down here we're gonna get into. We'll probably save that for a little bit later. Let's go ahead and start with some of the first stuff we found. Let's sit on down in the cavern and check out what we found. So the first item we found was this pop charm like type of thing. These things have kind of blown up or should I say popped up. <laughs> They've gotten a lot more popular recently. I've even seen a giant SpongeBob one that is horrific to look at. Horrific! But which one of these do you think works the best independently? Best or friends? I call best because at least I could wear that one and then I just thought oh, that guy's the best. But you, he's just like, oh look, that guy's looking for friends. <laughs> Why would you even ask me if you're just gonna take it? Well, I'm asking you, but I'm just saying that this is one you're, you're gonna get. Okay. <laughs> That's the rainbow one. You know you like the rainbow. I'll try to spin it to like a 90 sitcom. But this is the first item that we found. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna pop it open though, just because I already did this before the Powerpuff Girl ones, and Parker did not wear the one that I gave him. So calling you out. That's okay. How many good noodle stars are we giving it? I'm gonna say a little 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 Okay, okay, I give it five because that was the amount of bubbles that you could pop in this little necklace. You're like, pop, 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 pop. So five good noodle stars on the board for this guy. All right, next items here, some great stocking stuffers. We got two watches right here. Mario's got some scratching on the front. I would have picked him up if I would have known Mario had been through so much. <laughs> See, Sonic, man, he never gets beat up. The shoes do. Hey, but they got them new shoes. 
All right, looking good. I love how Sonic became one of the fastest beings alive in a hero to all nations, brought down to the lifestyle of a seven-year-old. But five dollars, there was no way back in the day I was gonna get a watch for five dollars. I remember getting watches like this, but they would be like those ones that like JC Penney's or like Marshalls, those little like pyramids of watches. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it would always come with like a lunchbox clear like lens through. Did you always do you have any uh, themed watches growing up? Mm, I think I had some of the Burger King toy ones. The one I remember having, the uh, only themed watch I ever had as a kid was this SpongeBob one where he was Mermaid Man. And you press the button and like his bottoms, it's kind of weird now, his pants would slide down. It would reveal, you know, uh, his timepiece, the, the actual time. It was kind of Classic. Weird. <laughs> But for $5, not bad at all. And then not just that, it also has that LED feature that we showed right there. And Mario's got the same thing going on. So for $5 each, $10, you get two pretty awesome pieces in your collection. I'm definitely gonna be putting these in our Nintendo collection with mostly just themes around Mario and Sonic. Good Noodle Stars, I'm giving it an eight for five bucks. But it tells you the time. You look like you work at those executives for Sega. <laughs> like man, work at the arcade get... where the Sega machine is. <laughs> yeah, you know, working at an arcade's still cool, Parker. <laughs> Eight good noodle stars? Uh, that's, that's pretty fair. Yeah. Okay, okay. Eight good noodle stars on the screen. The next one here, I have to just straight up get one star out the gate. I'm just lying. This thing is actually amazing. <laughs> I couldn't resist this. We found the Paw Patrol lunchbox tin. The main thing, like it says, you know, has Marshalls, has Dear Santa right here. Possum, perfect, awesome. I love that, even though it is Paw Patrol. It is the fact that it was made by the tin box company right there. The logo has changed many a times, but they have been here always, right? It'll pop up on screen. All, many tin box tins we've had on the collection, but I'm not necessarily gonna put this one in the collection forever. It's just gonna be in a seasonal item because as of this video uploaded, it might even be December 1st or close to it. So we're gonna be doing a hunt going on very, very soon where we get some holiday decorations. And of course, we're gonna be putting up our Nick mystery, but we're gonna have to be looking for some other stuff that fits the room. But this is definitely something I think will look cool. And tin box has been around since the beginning. So why not? I'm giving it a seven. If this would have been a Spongebob one, though, we would have given it a 10 for sure. <laughs> Cause like, hey look, man, I like tins. I like Tin Box Company. But you No, know... no, 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 you love Tin Box Company. Uh, all right, I guess I love the Tin Box Company now, but Paw Patrol, <laughs> we have too much beef. You have beef? You Bro, know. they delivered Otis to my door. I, I got beef, okay? <laughs> yeah, here you are with, with products. <laughs> They're too cute. Man. They're, they're, they, I am a changed man. They're really cute. I haven't even watched the show, but you talk now, Parker. But you just wait till there's a Paw Patrol live action movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart. Oh, what the frick? Ah, ah, look at this. Look at this. Come over here. <laughs> you just grab a spider. Oh, he's crawling back. Oh, he's alive. Oh, oh, hello, friend. <laughs> oh, he got scared. See, that's the thing. Spiders are more afraid of you than you are of them. He'll never yeah, bite Yeah, that's me. like your finger's like a car to him. <laughs> yeah. See you later. All right, next up here, we got the light bright, man. I could not believe we even found this thing. I have to pop this open. We're gonna dim the lights, and let's get into this light bright moment. I've been waiting for this since 1995. Here we go. So we got our packet. These are so, oh my God, I'm so glad I didn't have these as a kid. I would have ate all these for well, sure. You're the kid that every business worries about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually the reason they put these logos on there, all these warnings. But tell me those don't look tasty, dude. Those look like Jolly Ranchers that have been like sucked down to the last little bit. All right, I'll give you that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like Jolly Ranchers are great, but it's like when that last little piece is the best part. If you could just take that part of everybody else's mouth and have that, that would be the best. That's disgusting. Okay, but then we also have the actual system itself, the console. Unbelievable, I've never seen this in my life. I'm not even lying, I'm getting a level of goosebumps because I've always wanted one of these, like I said, but we got the little button back here in the back. Ah, oh, man, it needs batteries, always. I thought it was the plug-in light bright, not the battery-operated light bright. All right, here we go. My first light bright moment. So there's different settings, it looks like. This is just regular. So let's go ahead and put a first one in here. Let's do Nickelodeon green. Oh, dude, that's awesome. So it's just black. And what you do is you just kind of pop through this little pegboard. Boom, it's lit. So let's go ahead and do another one. We got blue. Oh my God, this is actually so cool. That, dude, you have to do it. It's super satisfying. It just feels like you're plugging in like a life force. Ooh. Ooh, another green one. <laughs> and I was going to add this clear. Okay, that is awesome. All right, so now that we have a little bit of an idea of how this works, let's go ahead and see if we can build something SpongeBob related with these colors. Oh, 
All right, I did the best I could with the colors that we had. I mean, that's not too bad, right? No, that's not bad. Yeah, I mean, you can get across that it is SpongeBob. We only had so many colors to work with. I didn't realize that that's how they get you because you're like, oh, well, if I want to make all these things that I'm thinking of, well, I only got this much yellow. I only got this much orange. I only got this much blue. And then you're like, oh, well, now that I finally made one I really like, I don't want to mess this up. I'll just buy a new one. They get you with the accessories. This thing is awesome. I can officially say now in 2022, very late to the game, but I'm a light bright fan. Light bright, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Is that supposed to be like edited on there? Yeah. You didn't even make it? No, it, it takes kind of a little bit of time to do that. And they fall everywhere. Still 10 out of 10 though. <laughs> but next up, make sure you smash the like button. This video is completely loaded. We're going to be opening up adorables as well and trying to see if we can add into the collection. You know which one we don't need? Hercules. <laughs> we got a lot of... But did we get the five, six, or seven doors? We got six. Okay, so so far we're doing pretty good. We actually have gotten six one other time before. So a little bit of a precursor to good things, hopefully. But the rarest ones to go for, of course, are these guys right here, the Lady and the Tramp. But of course, we are hunting for any of the Pixar-related ones that we do not have. Let's see what we got here. We got Baby Moana. We do already have Baby Moana in the collection already, but nice to see you, Baby Moana. All right, let's see what we got here. Bottom door, check it out. Oh, we got Sully, but we do already have him. And if you guys are interested in winning any of these, I give away all the double ones that we get on Whatnot. If you guys aren't already, make sure you guys follow me on Whatnot. You get $15 off your first purchase. And if you guys don't know what Whatnot is, it is an online selling platform where you can buy and sell all types of collectibles where I buy all of my Funko Pops now at this point. I highly recommend it. And you can use that $15 towards any of the auctions we got going on there, which we do every single week. But in door number three, let's see what we got here. Come on, I feel like this one's new. This has got, ah, oh, Panda May. Okay, we have Panda May right there as well from Turning Red, but we already have her as well. So the Whatnot crew is getting a lot here. Let's see what we got here. Door number four. Okay, we do not have her in the collection and she is a common. I mean, what did I expect with the first name? Candlehead. <laughs> All right, number five, let's go. I see why Disney people are insane. Oh my God. Bro. Your new name is Jerry. This is our fifth Hercules. Okay, well, our last box left, come on. Hey, at least uh, we didn't end up on the Hercules. I know you're right, but maybe there's one in here, so maybe be careful. <laughs> But when we first started opening this, it was so fun because they're all new, but now it's just dupe after dupe after. Oh, we have this one too. All right, well, that was all the ones we got for the Dorables. You'll be seeing all of these in the giveaway bag on whatnot. Make sure you guys go follow over there. Hoop them all up. Those guys are out the door. Okay, so the Dorables, I gotta give them a nine still because they're amazing. Nine. I love Dorables. It's just we got bad pulls. All right, next guy out of here. You gotta admit this one's cool, man. Oh, yeah. We are opening him up. I do not care he's staying in the collection we have the karate master garfield if you guys aren't familiar with garfield most of the time he's at home doing nothing but in his mind he goes you know he takes his little naps and he goes on daydreams of all types of stuff and we've seen garfield in his karate costume many a times a uh, freaking awesome well we did have a garfield that was right here in the glass but let me uh go ahead and see the game real quick it's one of those mornings but man, dude, they did a good job on the nose. I think the nose is the cutest part. All right, but the Garfield, I mean, this is an easy, easy eight. Nine out of 10, I'm gonna give nine out of 10, just for the karate costume, come it? on. Yeah. Not, not bad, not a bad flush. Uh, I'll give it a, I'll give it an eight. All right, Bart gives it an eight. We're gonna throw an eight and a half on screen. Eight and a half good noodle stars. One less life than Garfield has, but I guess since he's living one, it makes sense. Okay, next up in here, simple item here. We got the Bratz cup here, and this is classic Parker, the girls with passion for fashion what you do have a passion for fashion oh uh, yes my wardrobe of all black <laughs> all black and the hundred bucket hats you have in there <laughs> that is a fact but this guy i got because what we were actually doing is working slowly on a y2k shelf of just stuff that kind of inspired by the uh y2k generation from brats all the way to powerpuff girls but we're just building a collection up just like the toy story one i'm not really 100 percent sure if we're gonna keep all of it what we're gonna do with the whole collection but we're just building it up for right now and this is definitely an awesome item i wanted to add to that all right, the Bratz cup, I mean, it's a cup. Seven out of 10. Six. It holds water. Six. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cup. All right, Parker's giving it a six. 
Maybe your point was docked for the uh, bucket hat comment. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and the next up we got here is the Land Before Times complete animated series. I wasn't familiar with them having a animated complete series. Like you said, I only remember seeing the, the ones with the Roman numerals, you know, the films. And like, I never knew which one I was watching. I just knew the Roman numeral at the end changed. But Ryan will put a couple clips up from the TV series. To the land. Let's just go ahead and check it out and see if they did something special for the disc. I mean, we have a lot of cartoons now that exist, obviously, with the new shows, old shows, as I was thinking. They might not have taken the time for something like Land Before Time to do specialized disc. So as you guys can see, there is no specialized disc design. It is pretty much just, here is Land Before Time, the complete TV series. But nonetheless, we did pick it up because I want to have those episodes available in the collection. Awesome one. You got to love the Land Before Times. Yep, yep. Rating 7 BC. I was going to say 7, actually, yeah. 7 BC. See. Pretty solid. Okay, so seven on for like seventy million years. <laughs> yeah. How long ago were dinosaurs were here? It know? was. It wasn't even as long as I said. It was like three hundred fifty. <laughs> three hundred fifty million. How long since Parker said there was dinosaurs? I just feel like you're saying way too far back. Three hundred million years. Dinosaurs went extinct. That's what I said. You said no, it's sixty million years. All right, it's time for the big blue. The big blue coming through. 25 bones. That was an amazing price. I can't believe we actually got it for 20 bucks. 25 bucks. We left the other one. You guys in the comments can let us know whether we made the right choice or not. And if we didn't, blame Parker because I was going to get the other one. And then he was like, oh, yeah, this has got more pieces. If I remember right, you're the one who pulled out the money to purchase it. The purchaser always has the final say. No, you actually don't remember right, dude. What? I, you paid for this. All right, so here we go. All joking aside, I do think that we picked probably the better one. And honestly, I'm not even gonna probably use most of this stuff. It was just because it's $25. We had a big, giant Blue's Clues box. Why not? But man, this is gonna require <laughs> some setup. Oh my Lord, there's so many pieces. Oh my God. And ironically, I just got it for this. Okay, let us just check this out and see what we can do here. We may build this whole thing or we may not, but either way, let's get all the pieces out. We're gonna be taking stuff out of it, so we're not taking it back. Let's just go ahead and check it out. Okay, so it took us a little bit of time. Again, make sure I smash the like button. This is a lot of fun though. So we clasp this piece in. All right, we are locked in and looking pretty good, right? Not bad. Looks just like the box. Okay. You want a little omelet? Yes. All right, guys, so realistically, I mean, we just did this for you guys. I'm not gonna put this in the room anywhere. It's very, very cool. I love Blue's Clues. As you guys can see, we have quite a lot of Blue's Clues stuff as it is, but really the things that I wanted the most from this is that. You're kidding, not even the clock? The clock I wanted, but it's attached to the stove. We're gonna keep these guys in the collection. And this guy, I think I'm actually gonna donate this over to my niece. She just barely turned two years old, so I think she would get the most kick out of this. Amazing product, I definitely dropped that off, but she's not getting these. Rating for that guy, I'm actually gonna give it a surprisingly high rating. I'm gonna give it a nine because that was super easy to build. Yeah, I mean, that took less time than light bright. Yeah, I mean, we build stuff here all the time in the channel. I mean, I think the bane of my existence is Beyblade stadiums. They're so simplistic looking, but they're always so difficult. But this was actually surprisingly easy. Everything snapped together, which a kid's product should be. If you're like a single mom or a dad who'd be working hard as hell, you do not wanna have to sit down and build this long thing. It's gonna take you three, four hours. This guy we set up in like five minutes really really cool and all the pieces look clean i'm giving it a nine stars out of ten for our good noodle board rating does that sound good to you yeah that's pretty fair now for our last two items top five best walmart shirts we ever found i, I think i'd agree yeah walmart's got some pretty lame shirts but this ain't one of them this is a good one <laughs> this is not one of them let's go ahead and try this out and then we've got our fine we got a target as well so make sure you stick around for that but anyway a one a two a skiddly diddly do Boom, it is on. I gotta say, that one's nice. That's a sick one. I like it. I think it has like a level of irony to it, especially as an adult. Like I said, rock out to the max. Like we know that like we would never say that, but like I could totally see like my mom or your mom saying that. Like, oh, rock out to the max. Absolutely awesome. Love it with the wink right there too. One of my favorite pieces to add to our clothing collection, to be honest, and for like less than $10 for the shirt as well. But that was not our last item that we got there. And again, guys, make sure you smash the like button. We went to three different stores this time. We got the hoodie that we picked up at 
target. I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy though. Put a one right here, Ryan. What's one? Oh, oh, one. That's that's one. Over here, Ryan. That's a one oh one. That's a ten. That's a hundred one. Did you get rid of that one? Yeah. Okay, now it's ten. Okay. All right, but the last one. Let's check it out in three, two, one. Boom. I like it. It's comfy as hell. I like it. You know what? Now that I kind of see it on, I don't, I don't mind the color. Yeah, I think like the color is a little bit rich, but I mean, I think maybe because we're in a color that's so saturated, like we're in a, such a saturated room that it kind of tones it down a little bit too. Ah, uh, maybe that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I like it a lot, but of course, the best part of this is that back. Does the back look clear? Like, does the design work well actually in function? I still have to say yeah. Yeah. All right, sick. So what are we giving this guy? I I'm going to give the nine. same answer as them. Nine. Nine sounds good to me. All right, so we tried everything on, guys. I had an amazing time with you guys, as always. Stick around, we're gonna add some stuff to the collection. You guys already know, but before that, you know the drill. Scan it. Okay guys, so I don't know if you guys can see it down here. We have the Blue's Clues lamp right here. I think we've added enough, enough Blue's Clues items to the collection up there and the variety of different places that we've seen them. But we are finally moving out the Blue's Clues nightlight. And now it will be the new home of Karate Garfield. I think that fits better, huh? Because we already have a blue down here too with the DVDs. The blue is still present here. I think the Garfield fits though. Oh yeah. I love that one right there with all of our other Garfield figures. Doug is still hanging in down there. Garfield has taken over all of Doug's space. Awesome pieces. And we're also going to go ahead and put like our marshmallow pop. And that's about it. This stuff you'll be seeing in storage. Okay. And then we have our little poppers that we got as well. We have some of them over here. This is the pineapple one that was sent over by McKenna R. And then we also have the SpongeBob one right here. But this guy is this mini SpongeBob one. We're going to go ahead and put it right in here inside of our stationary section. Just seems like something you'd have at school, you and your best friend. But maybe one day we'll add it to the documents. We'll put it there for now though. And for all of our adorables, we're gonna go ahead and add those into our mystery bag on Whatnot while I'll be grabbing them out of here. Make sure you guys go check out Whatnot. We have so much fun over there and I would love for you guys to be a part of it. Don't miss out on it. Again, link will be in the description. And the Paw Patrol bin, we're gonna go ahead and add with our Krabby Patty holiday mix. We're putting all this holiday stuff right over here because until we do that holiday hunt, we can't add this stuff in. But once we do, we wanna make sure we have all that stuff available. And salt and pepper are absolutely a huge part of our show. So we gotta have salt and pepper right here. We got salt, pepper, we got mailbox, we got the clock as well. We have literally everything. I just want one of those classic handy dandy notebooks so I can put it right here with blue. And then we've got everything we need in terms of Blue's Clues. We were so fortunate to start this channel during the renaissance of Blue's Clues. Some of these characters and these items, just hands down, there's no way we've been able to get them. So I'm very thankful to that fact. But that is actually for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you smack that like button and subscribe if you're new here. And also check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. You're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe though, because the next video we got coming out is gonna be amazing. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Adios. Bloop.